Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name's Ben PF, and today we're going to be going back down to low price points instead of the highs we had on the last episode. And this is the Highland Black 8 year old blended Scotch Whiskey Special Reserve from Aldi in the UK. Now I know that Aldi is a German supermarket, but I know that some markets in, in Europe and uh, I think even America has Aldi's now. I don't think they sell this, which is unfortunate, I guess. But um, this is super cheap. It's £13, £12.99 in my local ones. They always have hundreds of bottles of it lying around. You could probably get this quite easily. It's a 40% whiskey. I will bet my life that there is a stack of colouring in that, but maybe not my life, but somebody else's probably. And <laughs> it's also won quite a lot of awards. Um, now, I want to just say something about these awards before we go into it properly. These awards um, are done blind, so you can take them with some credibility, but uh, having a gold or a silver award gives it this kind of err uh, of first and second place, which is a, a little bit misleading. Gold is, is nothing to be sniffed at, neither is silver, of course, but hundreds of whiskies every year get these gold and silver awards. So it, don't think of it like this is the first and second best whisky in the world or in the UK or whatever that happened to be that time. It's just comparable with some other whiskies, let's say. This is kind of a secret, but um, it's made from some Highland and probably a little bit of Speyside in there as well. Um, almost definitely it's bulked out by Gervin grain. Allegedly, I say allegedly, it has to be, these are all at least eight years old. Um, I say at least eight years old, I will wager these aren't any, any longer than sort of eight and a half years old. This is definitely, get it out the cask, get it into stores, probably cheaper casks, we'll see. Let's get into the dram itself and see where we're at. Now the nose on this thing really isn't half bad. It's, it's like apples and pears, orchard fruits, that kind of thing. There's definitely some caramels in there as well. There's a lot more Speyside influence than there is grain influence, I would say. Having tried some, some Gervin grain neat as it is, you know, just that single grain, there's definitely different flavours to it. Let's try the palette. Hmm. Now for me, it, this is where it falls down a little bit. It's, it's not bad, it's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. If you factor in the fact that it's £13, then yeah, it really is good. But although you're getting, the, you're getting standard whiskey flavours, it's not very complex, it's a little bit weak, and there's this kind of odd chemical note to it that I get out of it. This astringency that I can't put my finger on. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's not distasteful by any stretch of the imagination. I've had a lot of bad whiskies. The finish is a little sour as well. So ultimately, I am glad I bought this. I will drink it, I will drink it and um, you know, relatively enjoy it, but I don't think I'll go out and buy another bottle of it. Sure, it's cheap, but where I'm at in kind of my whiskey career, if you like, I wouldn't want to say career, journey probably is a better word for it. Um, I'm into stuff that's, that's it's less about bulk drinking and more about smaller amounts, greater enjoyment. So for me, I'd rather spend two or three times that amount on a single bottle that I am going to love every second of rather than getting something cheap that I can drink for bulk. That said, it's just like having something like this around, you know, it, there's a good comparison for it, it absolutely kicks the crap out of these blends, without a doubt, and it's a lot cheaper than those. So if, if, if these are your kind of go-tos, these, these blends over here, then, then give these a go, give this a go. You won't be disappointed, I don't think, 
But if you like your aged malts, if you like things that are special, sherry influence, that sort of stuff, you're not going to get it here. And that is unfortunately a fact. But it knows what it is. £13 is not to be sniffed at. You, you or anybody else can give it a go without any much issue. If you really don't like it, you could always give it to somebody else anyway. So I do recommend that you buy a bottle of it just to see what it's like. I am going to be doing a lot more Aldi whiskey because they've opened up a store near me now. I've got a lot of their limited reserves to do. Some are better than others and they're all really quite cheap for what they are. So do subscribe to the channel if you want to see more about Aldi whiskies and check out more videos a little bit like this one but probably not about Aldi. Thanks for watching.